In this video, guys, I want to talk to you about two companies that are in the home healthcare based industry. The reason I want to talk about this industry is because, I mean, think about it. The only thing you can guarantee in life is death and taxes, right? And uh, as people age, unless some genius comes out and cures all disease and aging and everything, I think this industry is going to continue to flourish as the baby boomer generation continues to age, right? So we're going to talk about two companies that are in this home healthcare based industry that are kind of struggling over the past year from a stock price perspective, despite having some promising revenue growth and EPS. So we're going to talk about these two companies. One of them has an over 100% upside over the next 12 months. So stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I'm Richard Allen. We're going to talk about two home healthcare based companies in this video because I, I really think that this uh, this industry is going to flourish over the next 10, 20, 30 years as unfortunately people people age right until some genius comes out and cures aging and everything. Uh, these These two companies should be around for the long haul. The first one we're gonna talk about is LHC Group. This is a big company that provides home healthcare needs for patients suffering from acute illness, serious injuries, or chronic conditions. In addition, LHC provides hospice care for patients facing terminal conditions as well. LHC benefits from a customer base that expands in tandem with the US population and from offering home-based care services that are in demand post COVID. The company has seen revenue growth of 12% from the second quarter of 2020 to the second quarter of 2021, with the current top line coming in at $545.9 million. EPS at $1.20 was down from $1.43 in a year ago quarter, but it's up sequentially for the third quarter in a row. Despite these gains, LHCG, that's the ticker symbol, shares are down 22% so far year to date. This is a company that has partnerships with over 400 hospitals. They just did a major acquisition. They bought a company called Heart of Hospice to expand their reach in Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Oklahoma, and South Carolina. And that should bring an additional almost $100 million worth of annual revenue. They've made another recent acquisition as well in Brookdale Healthcare Services. This purchase will add services in 23 home health locations. 11 hospice locations, 13 therapy agencies across 22 different states in terms of revenue. Uh, Brookdale Healthcare Services should add an additional almost $150 million in annual revenue um, after the purchase is completed. They're also looking at purchasing two smaller hospice providers in Virginia, which should add an additional $7 million in revenue uh, for LHC. So they are continuing to acquire um, different competitors uh, to increase their revenue uh, annually. That is a good thing for them right now. I think they will be along for a long time. Now, we have a five-star analyst, Justin Bowers of Deutsche Bank, writing, for 2022, we see improved hospice margins as a major upside driver currently not in our numbers. LHCG plans to exit the fourth quarter as a substantial margin rate of around 15%. However, we are currently modeling hospice margins at 12.6%. Thus, we see about $10 million of incremental upside if they generate 15% margins in 2022. Now, if we take a peek at LHC Group, they are trading right now around $167 per share. But this is a strong buy based on eight analyst ratings with an average upside of right around 43%. You can see that right there let me know which one of these is your favorite after we finish up here the next one we're going to talk about has an over 100 percent upside and you'll see that here in a second so the next uh, company we're going to talk about again another louisiana based home health care much smaller company uh, about a tenth of the revenue but we're going to talk about vimed healthcare ticker symbol v md this is a home health care provider that occupies a unique niche in the industry, Vimed provides services and equipment for home-based therapy for patients with severe chronic respiratory diseases, specifically COPD and other respiratory conditions caused by neuromuscular diseases. Among the services Vimed provides are respiratory disease management, oxygen therapy, sleep apnea treatment, and rental of ventilators and peripheral equipment. Vimed has a large customer base 
for its services with more than 25 million diagnosed cases of COPD in the U.S. And the Louisiana-based company operates in 23 states. Despite this, the company has seen shares fall 33% in the past 12 months and revenues and earnings are down as well. Revenues, which peaked at 46 million in the second quarter of 2020, have been falling because of the COVID-19 pandemic, unfortunately. On some positive notes, however, the second quarter of 2021, EPS was double what analysts expected. In addition, ViMed reported a cash balance on hand of 31.2 million against a long-term debt of 5.7 million. Going forward, the company actually saw ventilator patient count grow by 5% from the first quarter to the second quarter of 2021 to a total of over 8,100 patients. Now, we have a five-star analyst from Lake Street Capital Brooks O'Neill says, while the company has begun to recover from the disruption of COVID-19, we sense gaining access to both existing referrers and new ones continue to be a challenge. The company has continued to hire and train respiratory therapists. We continue to believe VMD at home model is the preferential treatment methodology for late stage COPD patients, especially in a post COVID environment where home treatment continues to gain, gain traction. We believe territory expansion, new rep additions, pent up demand, and better hospital access will re accelerate ViMed's core organic growth. With cash building on the balance sheet, we believe a small to medium sized acquisition could occur in the intermediate term. Now, with over $30 million worth of cash on hand, they could certainly uh, do something like LHC has been doing and acquire some sort of competitor to add uh, some additional revenue to their balance sheet. So VMD right now trading right around $6 per share. But if you look at what the analysts have to say, strong buy based on four buy ratings with an average upside peak at that of over 108% for uh, ViMed Healthcare Incorporated, ticker symbol VMD. Guys, thank you so much for joining me for uh, this video. Let me know which one of these companies is your favorite on the list. Um, I, I really like them both. Um, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments and I'll, I'll definitely comment back which one of them is my favorite. Guys, thank you so much for joining me for another video and I'll see you in the next one.